Welcome to another free tip of the day tutorial brought to you by ExcelLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to link data between two different worksheets in your Excel workbooks. Now, why would you want to link values between different cells in the different sheets of your workbook? Well, let me show you an example. The best example that I can think of, and people ask me how to do this all the time, is to create a summary sheet. For example, here I've got three months worth of sales. There's January, February, and March. And I've got sales totals right here for all my employee sales for the month. I would like to create another sheet to summarize all of the sales, showing the sales for each month and then the yearly total, but I want that information to automatically be updated in case someone comes back in here and changes something. Let's say this gets updated later to 54. Okay, so I'm going to make a summary sheet over here. I'll call this my summary sheet. I'm going to need January, February, and March, and I want to put their sales right here. So how do I do that? How do I go back to January, grab this value, and link it over here into this cell? So here's how we do it. Click on January, click on the cell that has your data, right-click, copy, now go over to the summary sheet, right click here, go to paste special, click on paste special. On this dialog that pops up, click on paste link. There's a button right here, paste link. That will link that data to the original cell. And if you look up here in the formula bar, you'll see it says equals January exclamation point B10. That's a link to the original cell. You don't have to worry about what that means right now. Just know that it's linked. I covered that notation in more detail in my full class. Now do the same thing with February. Right click, copy, switch to the summary sheet, click here, right click, there is a shortcut button instead of clicking on Paste Special. These little clipboard buttons here, the one all the way to the right with a little chain in it, that's Paste Link. It does the same thing. Usually in Excel, there's 10 ways to do the same thing. Click on Paste Link. Notice the link is up here. And then we'll do March. Right click, Copy, Summary Sheet, Right click, Paste Link. Now I can throw a sum in here, equals the sum of all of my values. I like to grab a couple of extra rows in my range there just in case I add more stuff later. And there's my annual total. Now the benefit is this information is linked to the original. Right now it says 695, but if March's figures come back differently, let's say Joe actually sold 90, if I come back to my summary sheet, you can see the value is updated. This is how you link information between multiple cells in your different workbooks. And you're not limited to just numbers too. You can link names and addresses and all kinds of different information. Anything you can copy and paste, you can copy and paste a link. Now if you like this free tutorial, I cover this topic in a lot more detail in my Excel Expert Level 1 course. I also cover lots more information, different ways to enter functions and formulas, relative versus absolute references, named cells and ranges, then, of course, this topic, referencing values on other sheets and creating a summary info sheet, different text functions like left, right, mid, concatenate, and the different find and search functions. Lots more covered in this lesson. So stop by my website today, ExcelLearningZone.com, and look for this and lots more different Excel lessons. Also, don't forget to follow me on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. And make sure to pick up a copy of my book, The Complete Idiot's Guide to Excel 2010, published by Alpha Books and available everywhere. And since you've watched this long and gone through all my little advertisements, YouTube viewers get a special discount to purchase any of my advanced lessons. Go to this special page, 599cd.com slash XLMX, and you'll find a discount plus a free copy of my full 90-minute Excel beginner tutorial.